going to be taking a look at creating Bootstrap Barrio sub team. Bootstrap Barrio is a Bootstrap 4 team. We're going to see how we can download Bootstrap Barrio with the help of Composer. We're going to create a sub team the fast way and we're going to enable our sub team. So here we have a Drupal instance installed and we're going to jump to drupal.org slash project slash bootstrap barrio and we're going to copy this bit here and we're going to jump to aqua dev desktop and we're going to open the terminal for this project and this is a project that we installed with the help of composer drupal create so we're going to change back to the root folder and we're going to execute composer require drupal slash the bit that we copied from the url perfect so we just downloaded the bootstrap barrio team and if we jump to our code base we see that under teams contrib now we have the bootstrap barrio team and let's jump to the drupal.org page of bootstrap barrio and here there is a really good configuration guide and there is a bit of information about bootstrap barrio how to install it and some other information but the interesting bit here is creating a custom barrio sub team so this is something i checked today and i actually change it a bit so that it looks a bit better so what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the terminal and go to the web teams folder where our contrib team is and we're going to create a folder called custom and change to the custom folder and in the custom folder we're going to create a bash script so we're going to call it barrio subteam create.sh and we're going to give it red permissions that's good and from this bash code here we're going to copy it without the first line because it's just changing to the teams custom folder and we're going to go to atom and simply edit it here and the first line is declaring a variable custom barrio and here we could write the name of our sub team so we're going to call it Drupal up barrio and the next bits that it's doing is it's basically copying some of the files from the booster barrio sub team and it's basically renaming some files and the last bit is very interesting because it's searching for the bootstrap barrio sub team text in all of the files from the sub team and it's changing it with the name that we declared here so it's something that if you're not using this bash script you're supposed to do manually here is the documentation about how to do it manually but i'm going to show you how to do it with the script so we're now in the folder where the script is and we're going to just execute the script and it worked well because there are no warnings and if we now jump to atom we see that now there is a whole folder called drupal barrio and if we simply search for this bit that we're supposed to do manually and we're basically supposed to rename all the files from the copied sub team folder to our custom team name which is plenty of manual work but here the bash script just did it for us and we're going to just 
assert that everything's fine so there are no findings of the bootstrap burial subteam text so that's perfect and if we now just jump to our Drupal instance and if we go under appearance we see that here there is a barrio sub team that we're going to change the name of so we're going to just call it drupal up barrio so we're going to say our drupal up barrio sub team that's perfect and if we refresh the page here we can just install and set as default the Drupal Barrio team and if we back to the front page now we see that the current team is our Drupal up bootstrap Barrio sub team perfect if you like this video please check the links in the description subscribe comment if you have any questions and thanks for watching Thank you.